Today I'm going to review this plate that attaches your GoPro to your DJI Osmo Mobile. No, not really. This is just an excuse to show you cinematic shots of my Wyme Runners. Reach the wizard. But if you are actually interested in the plate, I will review it afterwards, so stick around. So this is the Alanzo, Alanzo something aluminum plate, which I bought off Amazon. The reason why I went with this brand because it was aluminum and it was $16. Uh, I, I'm not familiar with the brand or anything like that. But uh, so what I have here is I actually have the GoPro 5 black and it plugs right in. It does a pretty good job. Yeah, so all you do is you just take your Osmo Mobile, slide it into the slot as you would your cell phone tighten it down and there you have it major major problem I have with this is this do you see there is absolutely zero balance there let me show you my cell phone my cell phone here is the iPhone 7 Plus Potato Jet Edition. Once the iPhone's installed, you notice right away that it balances. Basically, it's, I've set it up to balance itself. So when you have the GoPro connected, you don't have that fine balance. But when you turn it on, the motors will balance it out. Now, I found that when you're running this, it pretty much just holds 
the horizontal axis. That's it. I don't have the control as I do when my phone's in there. I can't control the gimbal. I can't control anything like that. It just holds a nice steady horizontal balance. The problem that I have with this is because the so weighted to this side, this motor here, which controls that axis, I noticed after just a couple of minutes of filming my dogs, this thing was getting hot. Another thing I did notice as well is the sound from the motor working extremely hard vibrates and transfers directly into the GoPro. So you've got that as well. But generally it does work. It does what it says it's gonna do. That's a good thing. I think if you maybe put some counterbalance weight on this side, might make it a little bit different, but feeling that it, it's, it's pretty heavy. That's a lot of weight. You're really gonna work these motors on this thing. So is this $16 worth my money? Absolutely. I already own the DJI Osmo Mobile, so it's just a nice accessory. I like to use the GoPro because of all the view modes it has, and I control the frame rate a lot better than I can on my cell phone. But if I was to buy a gimbal strictly for a GoPro, I would not go the mobile with the plate route. Just, I think that it's gonna burn that motor out way too quickly. I would just go ahead and buy a proper gimbal for a GoPro if I could do it again. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That way you're not gonna miss out on any of the action I've got planned coming up. I got more motor vlog action. I've got more shenanigans lined up. I don't know, with my train wreck of a channel, anything's possible. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the future. The best piece of advice I have for someone trying to succeed in the film industry or any creative space is if you're doing what everyone else is doing, you're doing it wrong. Do it.